mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit to be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, may we acknowledge our sinfulness and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. My thoughts and my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Mary, Heber Virgin, all angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting.
let us pray. O God, who raised up Saint John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for Christ the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. We make a prayer through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 49. Listen to me, all islands, and pay attention, you people from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother. He named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, you are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity, yet surely my right is with the Lord and my recompense with my God and now the Lord says who formed me from the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob back to him and that Israel might be gathered to him for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He said, He says, It is too light a thing, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will give you as a light the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Let's sponsor you some. I thank you who wonderfully made me. 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 Oh Lord, you, you search me and you know me. You yourself know my resting and my rising. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. You know all my ways through and through. I thank you who wonderfully made me. For it was you who formed my inmost being and knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you who wonderfully made me. How wonderful are your works which my soul knows well. I thank you who wonderfully made me. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being fashioned in secret and molded 
in the depths of the earth. I thank you who wonderfully made me. John had preached before Christ, Christ is coming. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Paul said, God raised up David to be our father's king, of whom he testified and said, I have found in David the son of Jesse, a man after my heart who will do all my will. Of this man's prosperity, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus. As he promised before his coming, John had preached a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And, was, and as John was finishing his course, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I'm not he. No, but after me, one is coming. The sandals of whose feet I'm not worthy to untie. Brethren, sons of the family of Abraham and those among you that fear God to us has been sent the message of this salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's rise up to welcome the gospel. Oh. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord now the time came for elizabeth to be delivered and she gave birth to a son and her neighbors and kinsfolk heard that the lord had shown great mercy to her and they rejoiced with her and on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child and they would have named him Zechariah after his father but his mother said not so he shall be called John and they said to her none of your kindred is called by this name and they made signs to his father inquiring what he would have him called and he asked for a writing tablet and wrote his name is John and they all marveled and immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed and he spoke blessing the God and fear came on all their neighbors and all of these things were talked about through all the hill country of Judea. And all who heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What then will this child be? For the hand of the Lord was with him. And the child grew and became strong in spirit. And he was in the wilderness till the day of his manifestation to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ, today we celebrate the birth of John the Baptist. As we celebrate the birth of John the Baptist, 
I call upon everyone to reflect with me on a few things. The first one is humility. In Uganda, there is a common saying, Fetuli Muchin too. John the Baptist, he prepared the way for the Lord. He preached before Jesus Christ preached. As we have heard from the second reading, he is the forerunner in the journey of Jesus. So, John and what he was doing and what he was, he, what he did, he could easily be taken up by the pride. But then, John is seen so humble that he is even saying, I'm just preparing for the one whose sandals I cannot even undo. He prepared the way for the Lord. He is the one who baptized Jesus, but then he was a humble person. We need also to pick a leaf from him as we pray for ourselves that however much we identify with some people who are probably great, we are not those people. So we need always to know who we are and be humble enough to move according to what we are. Known to be taken up by the pride and we call ourselves what we are not or we take ourselves in positions which are really not ours. Secondly, the commitment to our mission. All of us, we have missions while on earth. We have missions in our homes. We have missions in our communities. We have a mission at work. We have something to do. John the Baptist, he was so much committed to his mission that he did the preaching and he made many to understand who Jesus Christ is and he made them prepare themselves to receive this Christ. Am I committed to my mission? Am I committed to my work? How best have I really fulfilled my duties where I am? As John the Baptist did, with all his commitment, he preached and prepared the way for the Lord. Let us also be committed on our mission, whether as Christians, as Catholics, all as people in our families, all communities, all places of work, let us be committed to our missions. And lastly, let us all of us, as we attend this Mass, pray for ourselves that we may make others understand who Christ is. John the Baptist did this very well. We need also to make people understand who Christ is. We shall only do this by the change of our character, by the change of our behavior, and what we say shall help others understand that Christ exists. And they need to also be committed to that Christ. Let us pray for our souls as St. John the Baptist is praying for us that we may be committed people to our mission or is humble as we serve in this world. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all the things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, co-substantial with the Father, through him all the things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He'll come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the world his Savior and appointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We raise, raise them, them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Or is an effort to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory for, your consecra for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leapt for joy on the coming of human salvation. He, all, he alone of all the prophets pointed out the lamb of redemption and to make holy the following and to make holy the flowing water he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim holy Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy then love all these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. The love for as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have filled us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, for our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, holy pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, especially John the Baptist, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, love be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May we offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed.
we pray in thanksgiving. Having feasted at the banquet of the heavenly Lamb, we pray, O Lord, that finding joy in the nativity of Saint John the Baptist, your church, may know as the author of Habath, Rebath, the Christ whose coming John foretold, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And Sababete Sete Setu Jete Kemu Boxene Yom Samaliom Lunj. Those who are prepared, may we come and put in this box of the Good Samaritan. abundantly the Lord be with you and the blessings of the Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever Amen. our mass is ended is in the peace of Christ Thanks be to God. Uh,